Okay, Roadcaster Duo Deep Dive. Uh, a little bit late due to my computer taking a dive off a cliff and me losing all my stuff. So I had to redo this one, so here it is. A um, little late, better late than ever. Roadcaster Deep Dive. We're going to go over the settings, how you should be hooking this up, what all of them do. We're also going to throw in uh, some consoles and how to hook them up with uh, specific consoles. So... If you are one of those people who do streaming and uh, content creation with a console, we'll show you how to hook this up to, to one of those or possibly more. You never know. Uh, so let's hop into that, and I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, so this deep dive, right? So, yeah, after two weeks and my computer going to crap and me losing all my stuff and having to redo this, so here we go with the uh, deep dive into the Roadcaster Duo. Um, a little bit late, but better late than never, right? So I did my initial impressions on this, and you'll see that up in the uh, corner. I'll tag it there, but we'll go over this really quick, and then we'll get into um, some of the settings of the actual device. As you can see, we've got two uh, USB-C ports in the back right here. One goes into uh, one PC. Uh, for your main, and then the secondary is an incoming. You can also do, uh, so to start off, we've got the XLR right here. This is port one. You got port two. Two headphones. Um, if my camera will. There we go. Uh, two headphones, and then a left and right channel for your monitor speakers. USB 1 and USB 2 on the back. One is for your main output, and then the secondary is to bring in audio uh, from another source and to push out your mic to that to that secondary source. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. Power, power button, um, your display. Right here, you've got your four faders, right? And then your two, vo your two virtual right here, which we can click on right here. And then they are controlled by this. Multifunction knob right here. Obviously, you've got your faders right here. Your faders right here to move it up and down. This is for you not to be able to listen to it. And then you can mute the whole channel right here. Uh, sound pads. And then your volume for your speakers or your headphones. You have some extra settings in here. And we'll show you these really quick. And then we'll hop over to the computer and we'll do it that way so we can see it a little bit better on the screen. But you hit the settings. You've got faders right here, your output, uh, like your headphones and your monitor speakers, your smart pads, how to uh, put sound to them or change the sound, your display of the actual display on the Roadcaster Duo. Uh, show your information. And then system. Under faders, you've got your faders, right? And you can slide these over. Uh, from your virtual faders to your real faders, you just grab it and you slide it over and you replace it with whatever fader you want. And you can also click on them and, and it'll bring up some extra options for, for that specific device. You also have your, your mic settings. If you click on your mic, you can go into the uh, Apex processing and do all of your, all of your settings. We'll, we'll get on the computer and show you this a little bit, a little bit better. But you can do all those settings by hitting the gear icon and going into this. Anyway, faders, your outputs, headphones, monitor speakers, your routing, which is probably what most people want to see anyway is the routing. Um, how do we route this? And we'll get into that here in a little bit. So let me hop over to the computer, uh, the, the Road Central software, so you can see this a little bit better. And we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so as you can see, we're using Road Central right here uh, to configure the device. Now, everything you can do in Road Central, you can actually do on the physical, on, physically on the Roadcaster Duo by hitting that gear button. But we'll go over it really quick for you. Audio setup. This is your faders, right? So you can drag these over here if you want your Bluetooth right here. It becomes a physical fader. If they're over here, it's a virtual fader. So you have your four faders and then your three virtual, and you can move these however you want. Down here at the bottom, you've got your uh, mic one, mic two, and then headset. 
Bluetooth, USB 1 main, USB 1 communication, which is like your chat, um, your USB 2 main, which connects to your, your, your secondary computer or whatever audio you're pushing into the Rodecaster Duo through the second channel. And then your sounds, which are your sound pads. And you can click on these if you want. Like right there. If you want another one right there. If you, if you don't need these on your fader, you know, you can click them down and then you can drag them back up if you want. Okay. Now they got that part. Uh, making your fader. We'll go into device configuration. On outputs. On the outputs, you have your headphones. You have your Rode NTH100s. These are default settings. High sensitivity or low sensitivity, depending on the headset you're using. Um, high sensitivity for like uh, the, the headset that I use. I actually push the front into my um, Arctis Nova Pro wireless uh, DAC and that input on the back is where it plugs into so it's high sensitivity so um, that's what I do but you can you can test these out and see what sensitivity level your headphones have if you have high sensitivity low sensitivity there's really no in between or uh, it's got a pre-configuration for the NTH 100s if you have those Secondary is your monitor, uh, not monitor like as in the monitor that you're looking at, but monitors as in like your monitor speakers. You have an auto mute option. When enabled, monitor output will be muted when, the, when a microphone channel fader is lifted to prevent feedback. Auto mute Bluetooth output and fixed output level. I just do the auto mute, leave this right here, um, because I don't, I don't use Bluetooth and... Um, I don't use the, the monitor speakers, so I just leave this alone. Routing is where um, probably a lot of people wanted to see. So right now it's got the main mix. You've got your headphone one, headphone two, recording, Bluetooth, USB one, your chat, USB two, and your monitor. You can go into custom right here, and this will be your mixes that would go into like this, your, your headphone one, and you can exit these. And if you click these right here, this will take it out of the route. So if you had a headphone one plugged in, it would only be getting your microphone, your USB two, your Bluetooth, you, you, the second mic and the uh, sound pads. You can take all these off if you want. So where you're just hearing yourself, I don't know why you would do that, but that's how you would do your your routing. So if you're hearing something or you're hearing feedback from another thing, this is how you would do it. You would go into that and you would click on the bottom right here to make sure that uh, you're not hearing it. And you can do this for each individual one. We're just going to go with the main mix. This custom can cause unwanted feedback sometimes, so make sure that you are uh, taking out or putting in things that you know you want to hear. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go with the main mix. Same with USB 2, or not USB 2, but um, your headphone 2. Recording, what do you want to record? Like if you're recording, uh, you're hitting that record button, you have your SD card in it. This is how you would um, make it record all of the sounds. You can go to main mix, so where it's recording everything on the main mix. Or you can custom and say, you know, uh, you know what, I don't want Bluetooth to come through. Or I don't want USB 2 to come through because maybe I'm listening to music or something like that. And I don't want that to come through. So you would just... Uh, Close it out. Bluetooth, same way. You have main mix. Obviously, it says, it gives you a warning for this. This set, this setting can cause unwanted echo if used incorrectly. That's your main mix. Uh, I would just say go with custom. But uh, your mix minus is all the sounds coming through the Bluetooth except for your mic. This right here. It's mix minus. It's 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 everything minus your voice. And then custom, where you can do the same thing. It's like mix minus and main mix, uh, but whatever you want to do. So this is the custom. We're going back to what you want to hear and what you don't want to hear. If you're if you're uh, wondering what specific one you should use, most of the time, if you don't like the. Uh, the talk back from the microphone inside your ear, you want to do mix minus. Same thing with USB one. You got custom, mix minus, and main. Same thing with all of these, your chat. Obviously with your chat, if you're sending this to like Discord or if you're sending this to whatever, 
you don't really want to hear um you don't really want them to hear all of the sounds that you're you're making so you just want to give it your your microphone right the rest of the sounds should come through your main mix on your your earphones so you would go custom and you would say okay i want the chat in there so i can hear them but the chat right here i just want them to hear my voice so you would just exit out everything except for your microphone right and then usb2 is the same way mix minus or whatever you want to do same with your monitor main mix or custom you would go custom um i always like the custom option because you can add and subtract routes or or uh the add or add or subtract the submixes that you want so that's routing kind of in a nutshell right <clears throat> we're gonna go down the next one we're gonna go to listen you can do pre-fader listen when it, when solo is engaged the host will hear the channel uh at unity regardless of fader levels so you'll hear it at levels based on unity despite what your fader levels are and then after fader listen it's do you want to listen to it at the fader level or do you want to listen to it before the fader level it's it's up to you uh, multi-track you got recording usb this is for recording pre-fader bypass processing if you don't want processing on you can do it raw if you want post fader obviously all processing effects and faders will be included in the multi-track um this is if you're doing recordings and what you're doing your recordings through uh it's up to you processing obviously your master compeller right here you got your threshold your release your attack and your gain for when you're speaking you can do it the master compeller or you can do an output you can also do an output delay by turning it on and then giving it its parameters how how fast you want or how slow you want the delay to be okay the next one is the display brightness obviously automatic brightness your brightness levels your button levels dim after 30 seconds one minute five minute 15 minutes 30 minutes or never dim at all metering this is where you can see the metering on the actual device you could do uh level meters or you can do broadcast meters i like this one because it shows the decibel levels on the actual uh, front of the roadcaster duo just it's personal preference hepatics uh, whether or not you want it to you know vibrate or buzz or make a sound or something like that um, you can do hepatic feedback on hold hepatic feedback on always i don't like that whole tactile thing and making it buzz for it you, i don't think it needs it but anyway you can turn that on and off if you want by right there record button Press to pause, press to stop. This is if you're recording straight to your Roadcaster Duo. You can make this, um, you can make your record button do different things based off of uh, which you choose right here. Obviously, this, this would be pressing the report, record button would stop the recording, and then this one would be press to pause. Personal preference, right? And we'll go to over to system right here. You got your MIDI control. Allow bi-directional MIDI communication between your computer and Roadcaster Duo. This would allow you to um, add like MIDI sounds and stuff like that to it. Information and then obviously network. Okay. The all of the settings that are right here are actually on the Roadcaster Duo, and we'll go back through that here in just a second. If you're looking at the device, again faders right here all of your faders you can move them wherever you want them uh, virtual faders are controlled by your multifunction knob right here and then these four are co actually controlled by the faders okay hit back we can go output obviously output to headphones right this is where you would do high sensitivity low sensitivity and then the nth 100s We'll go back your monitor speakers same thing with the auto mute monitor the auto mute uh, bluetooth and then the fixed output level for your for your headphones routing same thing if we were to go to usb1 this is where you would route right here what all would come through uh 
USB one. Obvi obviously, as you can see, it's got uh, the XLR one, the chat, the USB one, USB two, Bluetooth, mic two, and then your soft pads. I'll go back. That's the routing. Listen, same thing, pre-fader, and then post-fader uh, volume levels. Multi-track, same thing, on, pre-fader, post-fader, and then your processing, your APIS processing, the, the master, com master compeller or the output delay. If you need to go into, uh, to get the APIS processing for your mic, you can do it in here by going to faders, and we're going to go to the mic. And then you've got your options you can choose for, like the pod mic, which I'm using right here, the broadcaster, procaster, the NT1, NT1A, RE20, and then the SM7B. It's even, yeah, it's even got the SM7B. But yeah, you have all your, your processing and your effects right there if you need them, or you can go into Road Central by going back, and we're going to audio setup and double clicking on the microphone. And you'll get the same thing. You'll get the wireless Rode, you know, like the, the, the me or the goes pod mic, your different mics, and you can just grab this and slide this over to whatever you want. You can turn off the phantom power right here on and off. This is your decibel levels, your processing. You have your high pass filter, your deesser, your noise gate, compressor, EQ, the oral exciter, big bottom, and then panning. You do have presets, depending on what you want to do. Like if we go to broadcast, you can it's a broadcast, right? Um, then you have depth, sparkle, and punch. You can go into advanced if you want. Add a custom one. Let me get rid of that one. And then you can go into effects. You got echo and reverb. You turn this on and off by clicking the processing button. And more effects on smart pads. We can go into that. This is where you would do your smart pads. You have your music bed, trombone, right? Your sound effects. You would choose a file. You can choose a file inside your computer if you already made one, drag and drop, or you can export the sounds out if you wanted. See how it's making me overwrite these for depending on what you're, what you're wanting to do. I wanted to just go ahead and do sounds, so. And then you can touch the sound. And as you can see, it's playing it. Okay, so that... That is the, the, the deep dive into the Roadcaster Duo. We do have um, some settings that you can do down here at the bottom and go into your, like your volume settings. We're going to go into volume mixer and make sure that you have like your output device. I have mine set to Duo Chat, which it shouldn't be set to that. It should probably be set to something different. The speakers, Rodecaster main uh, stereo should be set to that, and then your input device should be your chat. You can do it microphone if you want. Um, the chat is just a little bit of a better one. That way you can you can route it out. So that being said, there are a couple of questions that were called into with regards to like the PlayStation and the Xbox, and we're going to go over that right now. Let me go ahead and open up the PlayStation Remote Play, and we will show you that this thing actually does show up, both mic and the audio for the PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and start this up really quick. All right, so we've got Remote Play up. I'm going to unhook the secondary on this. And we're going to plug it into the front of the PlayStation. Okay, so now that we've got the PlayStation up, we're going to go into settings, and we're going to go down to sound. 
and then on microphone, as you can see, it's already got USB headset Rodecaster Duo. You can change this if you've got another headset hooked up. I don't at the moment. But if you have multiple in there, it'll show that. This is uh, saying that all the sound is going to go to the Rodecaster Duo. It doesn't necessarily mean that, that it's going to the headset on the back. It's just pushing the sound to the Rodecaster Duo. You can actually put a TRS cable in the front and run it. Uh, I have that cable run to my Arctis Nova Pros in the back of the input cable so all the sound comes through there or comes through that way so I don't have to hook it up to the back of the with the quarter inch headphone jack and then if we go to audio output as you can see it says output HDMI TV but if you click on that you can now output everything to the Rodecaster Duo and we'll start up a game just to show you that it works First, we need to go into adjust our microphone levels. And as you can see, as I am talking, that microphone meter is moving. And it's through the pod mic. See? As soon as I touch it or I talk, it moves. Same with the game. We'll start a game up. I'll show you. We'll go ahead and start up Fortnite. And as you can hear and see, you've got sound coming through Fortnite. And I'll show you the Roadcaster Duo just to show you that the, the sound is coming actually through there. This one is the one, the USB 2, is for the PlayStation. As you can see from the fader and the audio readout that it is playing that sound. Okay? So, with the PlayStation out of the way, we might want to talk about the fact that, you know, there's another console out there, which is the Xbox. Uh, how does it work on that? Well, good question. I have yet to get it fixed or to get it working. I don't know if it's going to come with a new update or whatever, or this doesn't have any of Microsoft's proprietary BS in there. But it, at the moment, it does not work with the Xbox Series X. Um, if you have a computer, all your Xbox games are going to come to the computer anyway, so I mean... Why would you get an Xbox if you have a nice gaming rig? Unless you just wanted to have that specifically. So there it is. There's your deep dive uh, with uh, the PlayStation added in. If you guys have any questions, remember, comment section below. I try to get to as many questions as I can and answer them as quickly as I possibly can. If you like the content or if you like any of my videos, uh, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, notifications, so you'll know when I upload other videos. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.